Despite knowing that there are many benefits to delegating, many leaders still do not delegate. And in this video, we're going to briefly look at some of the reasons why leaders are reluctant to delegate. Many leaders believe that they are the only ones that can do the work. No one can do it better than me. So then why delegate the task? Instead, they choose to do it themselves. Some leaders are pushed for time and feel that perhaps it takes longer to explain the task to someone else than if they were to just quickly do it themselves. Often leaders struggle to give up or loosen control because they are ultimately the person accountable for the task, so they would just prefer to do it themselves. Another reason leaders don't delegate is insecurity. They fear that they won't get the credit for the work if someone else does it, or that someone else will perhaps do it better and make them look bad. So they avoid delegation altogether. And if you look at it logically, if someone is able to do the job better, it means that there's a more effective way of doing things that ultimately would benefit the entire team and the school. Often employees feel reluctance to take on new tasks, and this prevents effective delegation as well. No one enjoys failing at a task. We all know that practice makes perfect. And as a leader, it is your job to encourage and support your team to take on new tasks. And yes, in the beginning, the task might not be up to the standard that you would like it to be, but over time with guidance and coaching, it will be. Leaders must provide an environment that encourages people to grow and develop and to be creative and to try to do things differently. We spoke about control just now. Many managers and leaders really struggle to give up some control and to delegate tasks onto others. And these managers tend to stay clear away from delegation. A leader who does not believe in his team and the capabilities of each person is not going to delegate new and challenging tasks. Trust and confidence is the foundation of effective delegation. So to recap, there are five common reasons that leaders don't delegate. Firstly, they want to do it themselves. Secondly is insecurity, the fear that perhaps someone might do it a little bit better than me. The fear of making a mistake. Perhaps the leader has not provided a safe environment um, that encourages learning and growing and development and mistakes. Fourthly, keeping control. Often as leaders and managers, we struggle to let go or loosen our control and allow other people in our team to take more responsibility. And lastly, the lack of confidence in the team. And an effective team is one that is built on trust and confidence and open communication.